So one of the best things about the internet is the ability to create content to share with other people and specifically to create courses or ways to educate other people. And so one of the things you can do here at the Creating Online Courses program is to uh, develop an idea for a course. And this course could be multi-lessons. It could be, you know, like my HTML 101 course that's 14 lessons or the JavaScript or CSS courses, which are 25 or 40 lessons, or the Introduction to Logic, which is 15 lessons. It can be whatever you want, or it can be one lesson. It could be how to make a dog out of a balloon animal, or how to do a specific magic trick, or how to do origami. Um, it could be a presentation on a specific topic in history, or an introduction how to how to understand the stock market. Whatever it is that you're learning, uh, you can develop that and share with other people. And you can manage it as a course and see other people, other students taking that course, see how they're doing. And you can make this as complicated or as simple as you want. Um, so the first thing to do is to go through our course, the Creating an Online Class. And um, if, you, if you are not registered for the course, that's what you want to do. And that way you can go through it and indicate that you've completed the lessons. So uh, depending on where you are, you're either going to see a you are registered for this course or you're going to see a register for this course. And this framework is exactly what your students will see when they register for your class. Once you've completed your class and you've gotten some feedback from me and some of the other people in O'Leary University, you can publish this course. And then as you can see here, you can get an invite link and share it with other people. Okay. Um, so the first thing that you want to do is register for this course and go through the different lessons. And what we're talking about here is deciding on a topic. Uh, then you go through and you create your course. And in order to create your course, I want you to go through this course first. Uh, that way you'll familiarize yourself with how the, uh, how the framework works, how the platform works, the one that you're going to be using. Um, but as you go through the course, uh, you can uh, decide on what topic you want to teach. I would recommend just doing a straight one lesson course to start with. Um, you could even, if you wanted to, put your just put a video here on the class description, and that could be a course. But you know, this is your opportunity to play. Uh, as you're developing your course, you're going to get feedback from me. You'll get feedback from some of the other students. We can indicate whether we would want to take the course. Now, it may not be something that we necessarily want to take. It might be something for a different target market of students. Whichever way you go is fine. Um, but what, once you've gone through your course, you're going to you click here, and you're going to create your course. And you're using a course creation framework. And so here you can put your title. Um, and you can identify when you'd like for that to be available, uh, create a short description, put your name as the teacher name. And then once you've done that, you'd go through and you'll follow the steps to uh, create the lessons for the courses. And as we develop, I'm going to enable you to create quizzes. I'll enable you to create a profile where people who are taking the course can answer some questions so you can learn a little something about the the people who are taking the course. But let me just see if I can pull up a, um, I think we also have the ability, uh, I'll need to go here to see where I can do this. But you also have the ability to um, see, like to manage the course and to see uh, what's going on and how the students are progressing on the course. But the thing that I want to um, show you, let me hide this for a second. And what one thing I want to point out is that we have a uh, where is it something that says teachers lounge here on the right and the teachers lounge you probably see it before me uh, it may be right after I think it's next Thursday um, on a weekly basis we go in in the teachers lounge you can discuss the classes that you're working on and get feedback on those classes. So the first thing that I want you to do is to register for the Create an Online class course. Go through that so that you understand the process 
and create your first course. It doesn't have to be published. It doesn't have to be anything that's anybody's ready to um, to work with. But this is something that you can get started with. So create your course. Uh, you can create as many courses as you want. Um, and as you're working through it, let me know if there are features that you'd like to add. Let's say you want to make it easier to add video or you want to make it easier to add resources. That's what we're working on right now is how to make it uh, uh, more robust and easier to create. But this first step is deciding on a topic that you'd like to share. Um, I'm also going to enable you to uh, grab videos from YouTube or something like that so you don't even necessarily have to be an expert on the topic yourself. It might just be something you're interested in and you can add these courses here and then start making them available to other people. So uh, the first step is to register for the Create an Online class and get started with it and then um, we can move on to the next step of refining your course, adding lessons to your course, um, and identifying other things that would make your course more valuable to the students who are taking it. So that's kind of our startup orientation and um, you can click on the, uh, the link to create the online class to get started uh, and then message me as you're going through it if you have any questions or if you have suggestions um, and we'll build this out for you. All right.